Hi, and welcome to today's show. And in today's show, we're going to do a comparison between the Zombie Slayer and the Penetrator. So with that said, let's get into today's show. Hi, and welcome to Utah Crossbow Hunter, where today is Crossbow Forum Thursday, Monday, Monday, Thursday, no, Thursday, Thursday, yeah. Okay, so we are going to do a comparison between these two arrows. Um, so let's just start with the weight. With the 125 grain tip on there, the penetrator is 545.8 grains, and the zombie slayer is 538.8. So we got a 15 grain difference here. So let's start out with taking the tip off of the penetrator and looking for the FOC. Okay, that looks pretty good there. So let's put a little mark on there. Put the tip back on. that one aside and now let's look at the FOC on the zombie slayer without it boy it's kind of hard to do it here on the finger Boy, this zombie's okay. That looks pretty good right there. So what did I? There it is. My mark. Okay. So the zombie slayer has 128. Sorry, 110 grain insert, and the. And that's a brass insert on the Zombie Slayer. And the Penetrator has a 140 grain aluminum insert on it. Okay, so let's do a measurement here real quick and see where the Penetrator is. And I'm showing it at about eight and a quarter. For the tip. Now the zombie slayer from the tip is oh seven and a quarter. Hmm. Alright. So let's put the tip the, the 125 grain tip back in. And let's try it again. All right. So the penetrator is about there. And the zombie slayer. I'd say that's close enough. Okay, so let's take a measurement now. From the tip of the broadhead, I'm sorry, the tip of the field tip is just short of six and a half inches. And the penetrator is seven and a half. So seven and a half versus six 
six and a half. So we get about an inch difference in the front. And let me show you Got my marks here. Do the best I can here for you guys. So the zombie slayer is on the bottom and the penetrator is on top. Penetrator here, zombie slayer here with the tip, penetrator, zombie slayer. So we have the zombie slayer with a little more heavier FOC and the penetrator is a little bit further back about an inch so is that going to be a problem may or may not be we'll know more when we take these out and shoot them which should be sometime next week I'm hoping as long as the weather breaks because I'm sitting here and it's already almost 80 degrees I'm sitting here in the shade so um, Got a little bit of a difference. And the noise you hear in the background, I apologize for that. I'm going to take a deal about it. We're uh, at my son's appointment again, and we're out here on the base gun location. So, we got a 15 grain difference in the arrows. The penetrator is heavier, but the FOC is further back than the zombie slayer. So the only way to determine if that's going to be a problem or not is to shoot them. And we'll do a comparison that way. So I'm going to start doing that hopefully next week. So we just got a slight difference in these two arrows in weight. The weight's 15 grains, but the FOC, the most important thing, is the penetrator is further back than the zombie slayer. So, comparison wise, again, is it that much difference? It could be and it could not be. So yes and no on that. And my shirt is, ah, there we go. Pulling down on the back. So. But the flat, I mean, it, they're both a two, two degree right hand um, yeah, right, right hand um, helix. So they'll both fly basically pretty much in the same direction, I guess you could say. Uh, but the, one of the differences is that the penetrator is spined and the Zombie Slayer is not spined. So we're going to do two tests. Spined, unspined, and FOC. So those two tests that we're going to be doing over the next few videos. See how things go. Okay? So, just a real quick video on the comparison. They're almost the same almost just a little bit different so with that said i uh, hope you guys got something out of it um, i'm learning a little as i go with this so we're, we're learning together and you'll want to stick around because i have it should be in my next video after this my big surprise for you guys the big one so i can't wait to get that so the time of this recording I should have it today and my next video after this I'll be introducing it to you guys and I might make a special video for that might so you so go you want to hit that subscribe button you want to hit that all notification bell you'll want to um, leave me a comment leave me a, uh, what else is there Oh yeah, give these videos a thumbs up. And let me know what you guys think in the comments about the FOC and the weight on these. 
So I, I, I like to see your comments on those. Alrighty. Again, I want to thank you for watching. And remember, these videos are dedicated to my son. And have a great day. And see you on the next episode of Utah Crossbow Hunter.